back to Say What? I'm Gloria Cassignol. I'm Caitlin Barbie. I'm Guadalupe Martinez. And I'm Patrice Robinson. We're here with our special guest, Caitlin Barbie. Now, some of our viewers sent in advice videos. Caitlin's going to be helping us answer those questions. So let's take a look at the first clip. I have a friend who likes a guy and is totally taking over her world. She used to be so antisocial, but now she's joined so many clubs just to get her mind off him. She eats, sleeps, and thinks about this guy all the time. I do approve of them going out, however, I just don't want it to be a downfall. She's a really, really smart girl, and I don't want him to burden her in any kind of way. Do you have any advice on how she can just get it off her chest and tell him that she likes him? Well, that's a little bit outrageous. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, I, I don't feel like the guy's done anything like bad for her, but like, I feel like if she's like joining clubs and getting out there, I feel like that's good for her. Um, Absolutely. Not I mean, I think well, if you do something, you got to do it for yourself. Yeah, I, I, I agree, but I mean, like, maybe it's for him at first and then becomes for yourself. But mm -hmm. I don't know. She hasn't told him that she likes him. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm an advocate just for telling somebody that I like them and I care about them. So just, you know, and if they like me, they like me. If they don't, they don't. You never know until you try, right? Right. All right, well, let's check out our next submission. Hey, ladies. Um, I have a question on... I need advice on what I'm going to do with my future. See, I'm in college and I have a major and all that good stuff, but I don't know what I want to do after I leave here. And I would need to know what some tips or something that I can have to know what I'm going to do in my life. Well, what I feel like she should do is really like see what things she's interested in mm -hmm. and really wants to spend her life doing or she's just gonna might may find herself at a McDonald's or a Burger King with a bachelor's degree and doing nothing with it but I think the majority of us here at the university are in the same boat so I mean I know I'm in the same boat but I know what I think I'm a major number five guy <laughs> and I <laughs> and this, is, this is it this is the one that I I'm gonna stick with and this is it but I mean like it took me a while to find what I was gonna do so I think it's kind of, you figure it out at your own pace, but I mean, it's all about what you're doing in school. I, you have to look at what's available after, like what you can do with your degree. And it could take time, because I'm 27 and I'm on the same boat as, you know, <laughs> high five. <laughs> we all work at different times. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was good advice, ladies. Now let's take a look at our next submission. How do you deal with someone like a boss or a supervisor that doesn't necessarily take constructive criticism too well? I don't really know. That's something I struggle with. I speak my mind all the time to try to get points across, but they always perceive them as hostile and maybe um, disruptive or something of that manner. <sighs> what should I do about this, ladies? Well, I feel like as a manager at the club, I'm always stuck working with my friends and mm. it's always hard to like get them to like get to work sometimes without being like rude. So when I do do constructive, cri cri constructive criticism, excuse me, I feel like I just remember that at the end of the day, you're being professional. Mm -hmm. And if they can't keep it professional, then maybe they should question their work ethic. But I think getting um, constructive criticism to a boss is harder than if you're a boss because that's your job as a boss but to give it to someone that doesn't really want to hear it is a bit harder I, I well I mean there's not really like we don't really have a boss I guess that <laughs> I mean we're all three equal partnerships at um at KET or at Lions After Dark so I feel like we can usually sit down and just have an o open and honest conversation about like what we feel like Chris will tell you when you're doing something that he doesn't like and you can tell Chris the same thing so it's really I don't know you kind of just have to word it carefully right. so you're not saying you're right. terrible quit at life or something like <laughs> that if you're just now joining us on say what we're giving our viewers advice that they need to hear on perspe perspectives of them so our next question is from angela ladies she asks i'm a plus size girl but whenever i'm out with friends my smaller friends get the attention how can I show my attractive side while being a lady? What do you ladies think? I got that one. <laughs> um, I've personally dealt with this, um, and I know it's always hard to see your skinnier friends and, you know, 
You know how you go on Forever 21 and they can just buy stuff off the rack and you have yes. to search. You have to go at the back of that rack and find that <laughs> extra large and try it on. And some people have. I found No, I found the plus size uh, section of Forever 21 and it was like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. <laughs> I'm just saying, I loved it. <laughs> is it cute? Uh huh. It's but all the same stuff, just bigger sizes. I'm definitely saying that each and every woman runs their own race, and you should never have to compete with anybody. You're beautiful in your own way, no matter what size you are. I completely agree. <laughs> I completely <laughs> agree. On those curves, yeah. work that ponytail. <laughs> 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 Next, we have Ben, who says, "Dear ladies, what should I do if I'm afraid to show interest in someone if they are from a different social status?" Caitlin, could you go first? Uh oh, um, I don't know. I. I don't know. I'm from a small town, so like most everybody was from the same social <laughs> status, I guess. But um, it's like you just have to be comfortable. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, if you, if it, it shouldn't matter. I think yeah. at this point in in like, I don't know. I don't think it really should matter all that much. I think yeah. it should just be like based on your interests, not based on like how much money you make or how cool you are. I I don't know. Yeah, we're out that ear now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have a question from Kim saying, Dear ladies, I have a guy who I have been speaking to for quite some time, but I don't know if I'm his type. How do you tell if you are a guy's type? Hmm. I think the way to tell you if you are a guy's type is one to ask what his <laughs> type is. It's always good. You never know until you ask. You have to communicate effectively in relationships anyway. And not only that, like if he's also showing you his time and effort, then that should let you know, okay, he may be interested. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I may be his type. If you don't want to ask and you're too afraid to ask at that point, that was one way I'll go about it. I've been out of the scale forever, so (laughs) I don't know. I think that guys were always saying that we send like mixed signals and stuff, but I think they are just equally as guilty of it. Like, it's not just a one gender is doing it. We're all doing it. So you have to be direct about what you're what you're saying, like what you want, I think. (laughs) Okay, our last question is from Marissa. Dear ladies, a friend of mine has a boyfriend that cheated on her and I saw him with the other girl. She really loves him, should I tell her? This is interesting. Oh, she doesn't know? She she doesn't know she should tell her I would sing like a canary. (laughs) I would. But then sometimes you tell, and it really doesn't matter. Like your friend, right? She's so far gone, and, and then it hurts you more because you're like, I thought you were my friend. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. So. And you want to help the relationship. At times, that can end it quickly. Yeah. So. I would your relationship. I, 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 w- her. I wouldn't mm-hmm. say butt in and like go talk to the dude. I, but I, I actually would actually say that. I think maybe you should talk to him. Be like, I don't know what's up. I don't know if I, I saw something and I saw and what I saw wasn't what was happening or whatever. You should clear it up with him first before you go and like make accusations. I think. That's true. Clarification. I mean, if you get that feeling that he's lying to you, every girl has that feeling. You know when you know when someone's lying. <laughs> like, you know. So um, if you get the feeling that he's lying to you, then maybe I would go on and tell her. But I think you'd have to do that in such a way that it didn't completely crush her. All right. Thank you, ladies, for all your advice. I hope our viewers solve them and um, their problems are solved. Thanks for joining us today on Say What? We've interviewed 88.9 KCR Alliance After Dark host Caitlin Barbie. She dished on your favorite celebs, and we gave perspectives on your problems. Be sure to join us next time on Say what?